Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the San Francisco Giants taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about ready for baseball. And today on the hill, Zach Littell. What should we keep an eye on here? It's got that splitter, and it's a pitch that swings and misses, calm fast, and they come often. Very difficult to pick up out of his hand. All right, ready to get underway. Off, Austin Slater stands in. The designated hitter. Austin Slater. And the pitch. Clips the outside corner, and this one is off and running. Pitch misses, and now it's even one and one. One ball, one strike. There's the strike, 95 of that one. The pitch. Swing, and he breaks his back. Over to Diaz. One out in the top of the first. Here's the Giants lineup. Batting second, a really important guy for them, Wilmer Flores. And Boog, he's a fun at bat to watch. I mean, definitely a threat whenever he's got that bat in his hands. But for me, it's, it's all about the mechanics. They're so sound. And when he gets his foot down on time and starts his swing, so much consistency, that bat stays in the zone for a oh. long time, and he squares up the baseball ball a lot. One, no Wilmer fight. Flores stands in here, takes ball one low. One out, base is empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Popped up, foul territory behind the play. Rortbet calls it in, two away. Boy, that was a hanging, breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. The batter will be Michael Conforto. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. No waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Jorge Soler stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Conforto, the runner at first with two gone. Edge of the zone for a strike, and the count even at one. Two outs. Ball. Hammers that one deep left field, and forget it. Massive home run, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 2 0. Boog, his plan was to hit the ball hard, and he was going to figure out the rest later. You can't argue with those results. There he got a splitter that he was able to handle, allowed that pitch to travel a little bit deeper, and when it was time to commit, his hands exploded through the zone. Two outs, nobody on. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. Inside corner, that's a strike. One one.
Base is empty, two away, but two runs are in, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And a pitch. And they'll do it again. And the right hander deals. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Two down, nobody on. That nope. one just okay. misses. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to. Hey. Well, looked at the fastball for strike three there to end the inning. The Giants strike for a pair as you get another look at the two run dinger. And it's two zip. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back now in Tampa Bay, and today's starter, number 65. There's always a bit of a learning curve for rookie pitchers. You've got to get familiar with these big league hitters, and it's more of a chess match, but I think this kid's got good stuff and the potential to be great. And stepping in for the Rays, Yandy Diaz. The first base. Here's someone, historically speaking, that prefers day games over night games. So I'm excited to see what he does in this one. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. That misses the zone. Two balls, no strikes. That one in there across the letters. Two balls, one strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One away. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had a Oh, and first offering is fouled off. Oh, Just missed. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Flores drifts towards it, and he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. And a one-two. And that's in the dirt. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two out. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup That's to start an inning, got to be right feeling right pretty here. good out there on the mound because when you think well, of well, just well, having yeah, a yeah. distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. Left hand batter waits. Fought off foul. Looks really sharp at the start of this one. This is how it's going to be today. It's going to be a tough one for this lineup. Nope, Just missed. This hitter's been seeing good velocity in the at bat. It's kind of set up for that changeup. He hasn't seen it yet. Looks just like a fastball out of the hand. One, two. Ripped to third and picked on a hop. Fires over to first. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing across here this half. We head to the second here at Tropicana Field. It's the Giants two, the Rays nothing. Back here at Tropicana Field, all set for the start of the inning. At the play, Tom Murphy. Let's go. 
the pitch. And he takes a strike. And it finds its way through for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Everything came together for him. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Tyro Estrada to the plate. First pitch just misses. Murphy aboard here at first with nobody out. And it's even up. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stand on that double play. Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans, they're all going to appreciate you. Ed Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. On the ground, could be two. Off balance B, there's one. To Diaz, that's two. Nice soft hands on the backhand right there in the six hole. Starts the double play. That's not an easy throw, but he puts it on the money. Really good job to get that double play started. Nick Ahmed here to hit. Really strong hitting performance recently. Can make it a five-game hitting streak with a knock in this one. Two outs, space is empty. And there's a strike. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. Two outs. The shortstop takes the ball. And another ball. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Line drive, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Batting on the center field. And digging in for San Francisco, Tyler Fitzgerald. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Right-hander kicks deals. That's in there. No balls, two strikes. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Bounce to third. Shenton. Wide throw, and it gets away. And that extends the inning. Maybe just a little lack of concentration on that throw. Two out, you think you've got the play made. Players are starting to move off the field towards the dugout, and then everyone's got to come back. Sometimes you take that throw for granted, and that's all it takes to keep the inning going. Austin Slater, the next to hit. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. And that's in for a strike. 0 and 1. First and second, two down. Yeah. Big swing and a miss. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, it will keep a close eye on his approach. Two on, two outs. That misses the zone. Now one and two. Ground ball right side. 
Over to Diaz. That's the third out. Giants leave a couple, but they're on top 2 nothing. And welcome back and to the ballpark. The we head to the bottom of the second. The now it's hitter. the DH, Isak Paredes. The line of the pitch. Foul ball there. The line of the pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Righty to the plate. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Fitzgerald balls it in, and there's one away. Batting, good, good. The second baseman. Now up for Tampa Bay, Me. Curtis Mead. And that is in for a strike. Going one. The Giants up by two. Bottom half of inning number two. And a pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. One down, base is empty. One ball, two strikes. Wouldn't Whoa, chase right that down. time. Fights it off, you'll see another. The pitch popped up right side no trouble here puts it away for the out that's out number two that exists the third, third baseman, baseman. Austin. Austin and here is Austin Shenton Yeah, the first offering is not close. Hey. Swing and a miss. He can live up in the zone ball, all right. game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. That's in there. And it's one and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Down in order, go the Rays. They trail it here, 2-0. And we're back. Leading Down the number Sanford two Sanford. hitter, Wilmer Flores. Wilmer Flores. The wind of the pitch. Sliced hard, but foul. Kicks and fires. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And it's gone. His first homer of the year, it's 3-0. That fastball wasn't even in the zone, and he was still able to hit it out. Wow.
High fastballs, especially with good velocity, can be really hard to catch up to. But he stays tall. His top hand works extremely well, and he absolutely clobbered it. And here is Michael Conforto. Singled and scored his first time. Right through there for a strike. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. The 0 1. That one ripped. Siri going back on this one. Banks off the wall. Around second now, going for three. And he's got himself a triple. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Board, and next will be the cleanup hitter, Jorge Soler. He's already homered in this game. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Shenton drifts towards it, brings it in. And there's one down. Got the pitch that he wanted, just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open, backside collapsed a little bit, and the launch angle not where he needed it to be. Now it's Matt Chapman. He was a strikeout victim his first time. That one missed. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. And that one missing low. One away with a runner at third. We're here in the top half of inning number three. On the ground, right side. Over to first. Out number two, and another run comes in. That right there was pre-pitch preparation by the base runner. Excellent job. He knew that he was going on contact once he saw the ball down. If he hesitates at all, the defense has an option to go home and try to cut him off. But a really nice job of base running. Murphy in his seventh season batting sixth in today's lineup and he was a third round pick back in 2012 the Rosarena moving under it and that is that so they get two runs on two hits one of them left the yard we move on to the bottom of inning number three it's the Giants four, the Rays nothing Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the shortstop, Jose Caballero. The pitch. Way high. Ground ball to the right side. Flores steps on the bag. One up, one down. Batting it. The center field. Jose. And now it's Jose Siri. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it uh, to improve your game. But ultimately, you either have it or you don't. And a 1-1. There's one All guy two. that I can think about, Boog, who started two as a one. third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. 
One down, base is empty. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That one's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Ben Workvet. Yeah, some sorry, guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. Solaire makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here at Tropicana Field as we go to the top of the fourth and digging in for San Francisco, Tyro Estrada. Remember Mark Kotze he was a real good defensive outfielder. Good instincts, not great speed. Littell back to work. That one not close. And that's ball one. Yeah, and I figured you would get Kotze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Next pitch in for a strike. And a count even one and one. And he deals. Breaking ball inside. And a count two and one. Right side, me. On to first. And one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff. The, the shortstop, Nicky Ahmed. Nick Ahmed, the next giant to hit. One for one with a single so far. That hey. one finds the zone, and it's 0 1. Good oh. eye in that spot. Base is empty, one away. Top half of inning number four. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And oh, there's a the ball. Down. And another ball. In the air right field. And it stays fair. Now that the seventh field. Tyler. They'll back in trouble, Boo. And it's just been like this for him most of the game. They've been all over him since his first pitch. And I think he's got a very short leash right now. Really needs to lock it down here. Run around at first with one gone. Now here is Tyler Fitzgerald. Swing and a miss. And that's strike one. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Diaz pulls it down. And there's two away. Now that Designated hitter, Austin Slater. And now it's the Giants' DH, Austin Slater. Fly ball to right. Settles under this one. Nabs it. And that is that. One hit, one left. And midway in the fourth. It's the Giants four, the Rays nothing.
Back now in Tampa and Bay. John Chami and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom Yandy. of the three, Yandy Diaz. Diaz. And the right hander back to work. Not one, close no with play. that one. Ball one. Just missed. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. And that misses off the outside edge. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Oh, definitely a breakdown in his mechanics on that one. He just lost the handle and ended up way off target. The Rosarina in the box for the second time. One ball, no strikes. Nobody out. Runner at first. Lead runner around second. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. And now Richie Palacios. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. And the righty deals. Rip, but it curls foul. And a pitch. Late with the swing there. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. You can either strike this guy out or get a ground ball double play. The pitch. And another ball. Two balls. The Rays trying to get back into this one. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Got him swinging. Nothing happening on the bases, though. Now, Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Paredes in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Here's an opportunity. If you're going to get back in this game, you have to take advantage of this situation. This feels like their chance. And a ground ball to first, and that's just foul. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Throw to first, and no, he's back he's in, in safely. Two on, one out. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Kicks and deals. On the ground a second. Might be two. Off balance feed. There's one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. So no runs here in a base hit. No errors. And one left. We played four. It's the Giants four. The Rays nothing.
And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. And now it's Wilmer Flores. Wilmer Flores. The right-hander back to work. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now batting. The left fielder. Mike and the Rays, Conforto. they go to the bullpen. Garrett Clevenger. This southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. Michael Conforto will climb in. Drove it off the wall last time. Just missed out on a home run. And hey. a swing and a miss there. 0-1. Just off the outside edge, and the count is one and one. And another ball. And here it comes. Still two and two after the foul ball. Flores gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Hey. Got it by him for the K. Just a great slider right there. And I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, that he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone. And right there, excellent execution, and it finished up at a perfect spot. Solaire nope. up to hit for the third time as he lays off inside ball one. Activity in the bullpen, number 40, warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, He's out. three, double four. And the inning is over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Giants four, the Rays nothing. Bottom of the inning go, and go, stepping go, in go, for go, the Rays, Curtis Mead. And the pitch. It's the call. That's strike one. All one we count. Line to left. And foul ball. And a pitch. Ball the one ball. there. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. Wouldn't ball chase two. that time. That yep, one cool. misses. Three balls, two strikes. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a foul ball. He stays alive. In the air, out towards right center. Pulls it in on the run. And there's one down. Now battle. The third baseman. Austin oh, Shen next to hit for the Rays. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Yeah. 
And that's off the inside edge. And it's one and oh. And that nope. one is inside. The Rays down by four. Last half of inning number five. Hammered down the line. Put the extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a double. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like you did right there. Jose Caballero getting ready to hit. Grounded out his first time. But a nope, shortstop the takes the ball. Man at second. And that one fouled off. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. The pitch. Big stock center field around third. He scores. It's 4-1. Well, that gets him a little closer in this one. We'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Next to hit, Jose Siri. Ground ball to middle. That's a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. The throw in. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position. And just one out. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Ben Wortvet next to hit for the Rays. Breaking ball inside. And that is ball one. Yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Caballero, the runner at third. Siri over at second with one down. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there's two down. Yandy Diaz no, now. No. He's over. No, no, no. And this is a big opportunity yeah. for him to pick up his teammate right here. ball drops in for a strike. Two outs. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. And that's outside. Second and third, two down. Three. Got him looking. Inning over, and it could have been worse. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam.
And we're back. Top six. Here's Matt Chapman. The why to kick the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Chris Davinsky warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Armstrong also getting ready. That's and a ball. ball one. Into the pitch. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. The one two. The punch out there. One out. Committed to that breaking ball just a little that? too much and couldn't pull the bat back in time. You know, once you get it going, it can be so tough to stop the momentum of that barrel. Good pitch, had him fooled. Murphy at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. Clevenger, a 6-1 lefty, 29 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Kansas. Base is empty one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Up next, up next, and up next for the Giants, the Tyro Asia. Estrada. Tyro Estrada. Estrada. And that's in there for strike one. Two down, nobody on. Just Outside. off the outside edge. Going to count one and two. Too close for me, partner, to take that 0-2 fastball, but for whatever reasons, he let it go by. He's still in the at-bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. Two outs. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Drifts towards it. Makes the catch. And that is that. No runs, no hits, no errors. 2-3-4 due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Giants four, the Rays one. Bottom of the six. Now it's Randy Rosarena. The pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Ahmed on the run. Throw to first. Oh. Lead off man retired in the sixth. I love how guys at this now level are able right to field. slow the game down, right whether it's in the batter's box or oh, on oh, defense. Oh, yeah. And right there, that was a good job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that internal clock. He was able to gather himself, get a good grip, and make an accurate throw across the diamond. Bunting for a hit, and it goes oh, just foul. One down, base is empty. Just yep, missed. Went out. Right Aye. through there for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. 
The Giants leading by three here in the bottom of the sixth. Pitch misses and the count's full. Outside and that is ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but up, now up, at least he gets a there. fresh start against a new up, batter. Up, up, up. He needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Perez, batting with one down, takes the strike. These guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Here's the 0-2. And down on strikes. Picks up strikeout number seven. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. And try to check the swing. Just couldn't do it. Up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Eric Miller getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Number 74, the right-hander, loosening up as well. Bounced up the middle. Ahmed. They take the force out. Play made. That ends the inning. No runs, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Giants four, the Rays one. Back here at Tropicana Field, top of inning number seven, and digging in for San Francisco, Nick Ahmed. Clevenger back to work. Pitch in the dirt, one and oh. And now the lefty. Three. And now the count. One and two after the swing and the miss. Two, Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. On the ground to first. And that chance handled. And he handles oh. it himself for the out. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled now over. Got out. the ground the ball. Tyler. Tyler Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald. The next giant to hit. First All pitch, one, no not break. close. And a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Ah. And strike two. One ball, two strikes. Pitch. Ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Just missing there, and the count's full. Blasted deep to right. Palacios raging back towards the wall. And caught on the warning track. Not quite enough behind that one. Now it's the Giants' leadoff hitter, Austin Slater. Yeah, 
just missed. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top half of inning number seven. That one ripped left field. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. And he's got a double. A little more backspin on that instead of the top no, spin. No, 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 he's jogging no, no. around the bases rather than pulling up at second. No. the first baseman intentional walk here with two out they set up a force at any base to end the inning up next is John the left fielder Michael Conforto. so two on with two away now the left fielder Michael Conforto Dances out of the way of that one. And a pitch. And that one sliced foul. The one one. And another ball. Right. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. At the belt and fires. In the air to left center. Tracks it down for the out. And that'll do it. Giants leave a couple as they hold on to a 4-1 lead. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Jordan Hicks. Oh, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Now up for Tampa and Bay, and Austin Shenton. One for two. Austin Shenton. And here it comes. That pitch gets the inside corner. Strike one. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. The 0-1. Yeah, one that skips in the dirt. One one now. Wouldn't oh, chase right that time. That one misses, and it count is three and one. One first pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a three-one count. Righty delivers three-one, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Leading off for the now win. here is Jose no Caballero. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. And a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Now Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Here's the center fielder, Jose Siri. And that one fouled off. Check 
Swing, did he go? Yes, he did. No ball, two strikes. Tying run at the plate. Ground ball right side could be two. There's he's one down. and two. Oh, In time to first for the double play. Now catcher. A very fast developing play right there. No margin for error. Nice double play on a fast runner up the line. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Ben Wortvet. First pitch misses. Ball one, no strike. At third with two away. That one ripped right center field. Soler ranging back. And it's caught just in front of the wall. The Rays strand just the one. And this is still a 4 1 ball game. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Sean Armstrong. This is his fifth appearance of the year. Jorge Soler up at the plate. He's already homered here in this one. The pitch. That misses, and that's ball one. One and oh. Right hater deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And another ball. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And here is. Matt Chapman 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. And yeah, that's outside. And yeah, that's ball one. Tampa Bay's bullpen with some action. Chris Davinsky warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Next offering is down low. And Ball downstairs. Three. Next offering is in for a strike. Right hander kicks deals. Chapman gets a piece there. Right handed reliever. Got him looking. Now two out. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. Well, that was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Murphy, nope. the next to hit, takes ball one. Ball one, no strike. Now fly ball to right center. Siri makes the grab, and that's the inning. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Eric Miller. He last pitched two days ago. Two.
So the Rays batting order turns over. And now the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. As the lefty gets to work. Well, it's critical right here Every that they time. bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. The pitch. Aye. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. a 2-2. Two -two. Oh, that broke him. And that's now twice he's been hitting this one. Well, not a whole lot behind that pitch. It's off speed, but still stings. Getting hit by a fastball is a whole different story. And that one fouled off. The Rays trailing by three. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That was blasted to the moon. Third home run of the season. It's 4-3. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game, and just like that, they're back in it. an excellent swing all the way around and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention got a pitch to drive short to the baseball squared it up and the backspin carried it out of here now it's the right fielder Richie Palacios Slider misses outside. Nope. And that's off inside, the three. inside edge. And the count is 2-0. Would oh, chase that time. Miller, maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. Hey. They're not trusting their stuff. And the tying run is on base. Second walk of the game for him. And he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to is just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Isaac Brady's now 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Just missed. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, well, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. Yeah, yeah. Every day it's during batting thing. practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. is lifted in the air he's under it makes the grab
Down the third baseman, Austin Schaefer. No surprised. We don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty lefty matchup. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps, give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. The 1 0. And a good eye there. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Kicks and deals. And now two and two. Closer thanks to the homer. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We go to the ninth. Here's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. Tyro Estrada. And he deals. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Ball one. Armstrong, a 6-2 righty. He throws a cutter, a sinker, a four-seamer, and he works in a slider. Just missed. Two and one now. And it's fouled away. One, two, three, Sean. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. He was all over that one. Now nice that, job that. of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, oh hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Man at first, and now the shortstop, Nick Ahmed. Check Inside, swing, no one. appeal. And a pitch. And a foul ball. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Next offering is in for a strike. The shortstop takes the ball. Strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. And the batter down, oh, Tyler down. Fitzgerald. The center field, Tyler Fitzgerald. Runner on the go. That's in for a strike. Bro, oh, save! Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe it back against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal the base. But right here, they successfully move that runner up to scoring position. Good job. Man, it's second. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Well, he's got ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. 
Righty to the plate. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Estrada over at second. One down. Next offering misses down and away. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Pickoff moved to second and he dives back in safely. the second out. So the batting order turns over. Next will be the Giants DH. Austin Slater. Inside corner and that's called a strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. There's a swing and a miss. And a pitch. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. So one hit is all they get. Bottom part of the order, 7-8-9, due up in inning number nine. It's the Giants four and the Rays three. back and on the mound is the closer Camilo Doval he's making his fourth appearance of the season looks like it'll be a pinch hitter Harold Ramirez and he would be the tie and run book so we may see him try to launch one if he gets a good pitch to handle and here it comes and the pitch a little bit low ball one Looking to get the tying run on base. Hey. Outside corner, there's a strike. Ball to strike. That clips the corner. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. Next oh, offering is outside. Chases in the dirt, slider there. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just nasty. Looks like a fastball thigh high that you've got to protect the zone, and then it's just that late break that fools you. Kind of makes you look silly. And stepping in for the Rays, Jose Siri. One for three. Lays out. Oh, it's off his ball. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. These hitters today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day. A nice job of turning that one around. And now the catcher for the Rays, Ben Wortvet. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. Inside oh, just missed. Tying run at first, the winning run at the plate. And fouled off. Two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of the double play right here. 
Left hand hitter waits. And that just misses. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Strike three, got him swinging. Now only one out remaining. Man, he got a real good pitch to hit right there. With two strikes. You cannot miss that. Not a great slider at all. And I tell you what, that's where you've got to do damage. He looked like he was on time getting the bat through the zone, but he just caught air. Last chance for the Rays. And now, Yandy Diaz. That one in triple digits. That's a big run over there at first base. He's got some speed. Let's see if they send him. Two outs. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. One strike away. And he'll two. Ball one. One ball, two strikes again. Oh, that's outside. That's Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. with his first major league win yeah nicely done I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should a start he won't ever forget 4-3 our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show I'm John Chomby saying so long 